Okay, everybody, this is my spoiler review of X-Men the Animated Series, Season 5, Episode 7, Old Soldiers. This originally came out February 22nd, 1997. Before I jump into my review, hit that sub button. If you're on YouTube and if you're on TikTok, please come over to YouTube as well and hit that sub button. I can use all the help I get starting this newer X-Men channel. So this episode starts in a graveyard in Paris in present day, and we see Logan is really angry at the grave of this mysterious person, Andre Cocteau, and he says, you cheated me. So this leads to a flashback in 1944 Paris in World War II, and we get to see Spy Logan here. Remember, this is before he has everything happen to him with Weapon X. So right off the bat, what's so cool about this episode is that we get to see Logan use his claws still, but they're actually on his gloves, which is a callback to how his origins from the comics were originally set out that he didn't have them through his skin and they switch that later on now when we see this spy logan in an alleyway i love when he's hiding on the roof and he says uncle adolph's goose stepping goons had the place sealed tight so great and it's great you see these little clever logan moments like him just distracting a bird so the bird would distract the nazi soldiers i really like that and he meets justine and also meets Happy Sawyer. And he says, only my men get to call me happy. And Logan goes, yeah, I can see why. So good. But the mission is that Sawyer wants Logan to save scientist Cocteau. Now, he says, your backup will meet you on your route. So if you knew just going into this episode from the poster for the episode, you get the nerd chills right here, knowing this is Captain America. And we also learn what's important is that Justine is Cocteau's daughter, and she'll have the big reveal at the end of the episode, which we'll get to. Now, Logan defends this child in the alleyways from the Nazi soldiers, and this is when Cap Shield makes its entrance, revealing then Captain America. This was incredible. And what was also incredible watching this now is he actually sounds like Chris Evans. So it was pretty cool to kind of have it full circle now where it still felt like the Captain America most people are familiar with from the movies. And a great line is Cap says, by the way, I'm your backup. I'm Captain America. And Logan goes, really? I never would have guessed. And I like they did a shield transition effect where it came over the frame. I thought that was great. Now he asks Cap about his suit and he says, you didn't catch me in something like that. Gotta itch. It's great he says this because we'll know Wolverine will eventually wear a costume that makes him stand out too and probably itches. Now they find Cocteau on their mission. Wolverine has to knock him out because he's hesitant to go with them. We'll know the real reason why later on. But they try escaping. And then the other big surprise in this episode is they run into Red Skull. And the twist is that Cocteau is the one who set off the emergency alarm that alerted Red Skull and all the soldiers. And now you know why Logan is so mad at him in the present day. Now... One of the best moments in this episode and the best in the series ever is when Red Skull has all these Nazi soldiers fire at them and Logan's running behind Captain America and all those bolts are reflecting off the shield. That was incredible. And Cap has a great line where he's like, Logan, I think you actually enjoy this. I love that. Now then they have to face this sleeper robot that Cocteau was helping make and it actually scares away the Nazi soldiers, which I thought was pretty funny, them just running away. But... Another amazing moment is when Logan opens the center of the sleeper robot and says, yo, Cap, and Cap throws his shield through it. That was so amazing. Like, what blew me away with this episode is the excitement seeing Captain America was in it, but to see him and Logan work together and it actually delivering all of that action was so awesome, and I hope one day to see this in live action because it's amazing. Now, they try to hold on to the plane where Red Skull and Cocteau are escaping, but they fall off and they fall into a hay wagon. Now, what was really impressive about the next scene is that you see how more of an optimistic superhero Captain America is. You know, he's taken the win that they destroyed the lab, but Logan's pissed about it. He's pissed they were betrayed and he didn't get Cocteau or Red Skull. And it's interesting because it shows you Logan in present day, 50 years later, still thinking about it. So it's such a difference in character between him and Steve Rogers, which I thought was great. They highlighted that. And speaking of present day, Justine will show up now to reveal the truth. She says, my father was no traitor, but a carefully placed double agent. So they were sent to rescue him solely to make his disguise even better. It's a tough pill to swallow if you're Logan, but the silver lining being because they didn't rescue him, he was able to sabotage the Nazis from within Dr. Gatto. So it actually worked out for the better. And it's a nice little closing moment where Logan carves hero 
onto his grave and realizes he misjudged the situation completely. It's a nice little message, especially for kids watching this show, to make sure you get the whole story straight before judging somebody and their actions. So this was an amazing episode to me. And I know a lot of people have a lot of hate for season five, but this is one of those special ones that's still there in season five. I'm giving it a 9.2. The action was possibly my favorite in the show ever. I thought it was so good. And the way the pacing was was great and how they had the mystery about Cocteau and the reveal come full circle at the end with a lot of heart. Like I said, the good message in it and also showing that difference between Captain America and Logan, how they think about things, one being more optimistic than the other. I just thought it was a great episode and one of the best of the series ever. Let me know your thoughts down below. I love to hear your thoughts. I read every comment. I try to respond as many as I can. Hit that sub button and I'll see you next time.